Hello guys, welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching The Thing. Now, this is the one that came out in 2011. We already watched the original. We're going into this pretty much blind. Very excited to see what they're going to do with this. You know, we haven't done horror in a minute and, and we really do like horror. So, it, it, you know, we already know this is going to be a blast. We did hear from, you know, from the critics and whatnot that this wasn't received as well. But then again, if these are the same critics that uh, panned <laughs> the original, then I don't yeah. know how much I can trust their opinion. So, <laughs> therefore, we are here. We wanted to check this out, you know, uh, on our own terms and, and be able to assess how good or how bad this film is uh, under its own merits without comparing it necessarily directly to the original because you know that's not fair it's like if we compare the original to the newer films uh, in terms of you know some of the effects so I want to keep it fair I want to keep it neutral and uh, hopefully there's some enjoyment here because uh, I really did enjoy the original yeah the original was absolutely amazing and you know we both fell in love with the practical effects that they did it's always amazing to see what filmmakers uh, go through creatively in order to make their vision come to reality um, I'm very interested to see like how this is going to be similar to the original but like what steps it's going to take to justify its own existence right especially when something uh, becomes a cult classic as the original the thing has you kind of want to stand on your own two feet you want to do things a little bit differently but while still respecting the original I do know that Mary Elizabeth Winstead is in this so Ooh. like and we we love her she's absolutely amazing so like I'm super excited to see what she's going to be doing in this one that sounds like a good time we recently watched 10 Cloverfield Lane and she was fantastic in that you know uh, <laughs> she was opposite John Goodman and some of those scenes were absolutely fantastic. Chilling. So she's got what it takes, you know, to uh, to really be that final girl. So I'm excited to see her <laughs> in this. Cannot wait to see what this brings, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you enjoy. If you want to catch the full length reaction, that's going to be available on our Patreon. And if you want to watch these reactions early, make sure that you hit the join button and become a YouTube member. Also, a huge shout out to Jim Rikers and Critical MTV and Lightning 132 and Riddles 11 for becoming producer nights, guys. Thank you so much. You have been supporting us for quite a while. Thank you for being producer nights. It means the world to us and mm -hmm. it definitely helps us out so thank you thank you thank you we hope that you enjoy and we'll catch you guys after the movie you can just feel the cold yeah. and the sound of the wind yep definitely cold <laughs> I still remember the level of paranoia I had while watching that first one. <laughs> Suspicious of everybody. Everybody but that damn dog. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that dog got us, man. Antarctica, winter, 1982. Okay. Oh, okay. Set in the 80s. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. The theme. It's so good. Remember how good that theme was in those... It's so ominous. Those moments of tension in that original film. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a signal. They're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Right on top of what exactly? Jeez! Oh, oh, sh oh wow! Oh my god! Oh, that's a nightmare. They got lucky. Did they? I mean, they're lucky that thing is wide enough to stop that fall, because that would have been certain death. <laughs> Anamorphic flair, because we always <laughs> need it. Because it's cinematic. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a dark hole, man. Oh. Excuse me? Ah, cool. <laughs> it's giving the effect. That backlit effect. <laughs> so cool. Nice. Research how they did the original logo and it was fascinating. They even did that practically. That's crazy, man. The length they went to. Oh, wow. What is that? Is that a saber tooth? Maybe not. It's pretty thick for a saber tooth. <laughs> Good song choice. Hey, you, uh, you forgot, didn't you? No, no, I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she totally forgot. I'm Dr. Sandra Halverson. Kate Lloyd. He says she specialized in vertebrate paleontology. Hmm. I've worked on several cold weather digs. Good. 
Oh, this is awkward. 48 hours ago, his team found something quite remarkable. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Remarkable. We're flying down there tomorrow evening to examine the site. Doctor, I'm sure you can understand that I need to know a little bit about what it is I'm being asked to dig up. Well, that's the problem. A structure? Yes. In Antarctica? And a specimen. That's all I can tell you. It's sort of a thing. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry. I need your answer right now. Damn. No time to think about it. I'm in. Great. Adam will get you the details of our departure. So sinister. They're not giving her anything. What the hell is it? You now officially know as much as I do. But I'll tell you one thing. I worked for that guy for three years. And I have never seen him this excited. Wow. That was him excited? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> They're probably pretty stoked, but also suspicious of what this thing could be. I mean, finding a structure like that under ice. Plus a specimen? That's career changing for all of them. Yeah, I'd be losing my mind. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's passed out. How is that inhumanly possible? <laughs> hey, if you need a nap, you need a nap. I was hoping maybe you could help me with something. Kind of desperate need of certain information. Uh, don't do this to yourself, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to know how the Cavaliers are doing. <laughs> I don't follow football. It's basketball oh, team. Even worse. <laughs> Barely. Damn. <laughs> Roasted. There's a storm moving in. A nasty one. Oh. And the last place you want to be is cooped up with a dozen Norwegian guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like some of those references to the original. Like, they're also Norwegian. There's a storm. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Toronto coming back. <laughs> gonna be so bad when shit hits the fan i know <laughs> and there's a storm coming in you already know they're gonna be stuck for it hi hi welcome please go in the sprites thanks hello sir damn they're not wasting any time gotta go check it out right now no time to drop your bags let's see what this looks like man solid <laughs> damn they work pretty fast this is some of my team this is carl and juliet both geologists. Hi. Welcome. Geologist, paleontologist, geez. Let me show you why I flew 10,000 miles. Please do. Can't wait to see it. I'm liking how they build the anticipation. Like you feel that excitement brimming amongst all of them. I'd be so nervous. <laughs> yes. Like why in the world would you bring me here on this short notice? Oh boy. Damn, that what? thing is massive. Holy shit. Holy shit, indeed. It's been here approximately 100,000 years. Whoa. We picked up a signal it was emitting. And it's transmitting a signal still? That's not good. We think the signal got triggered when the survivor exited the craft. The survivor? Survivor? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> you guys are in for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> Whoa. That looks like a claw. <laughs> oh, that is oh, so wow. cool. How long wow. will it take to get out? You know, okay? Assuming you have the right equipment, I'd say maybe half a day. Okay. That's that doesn't take quick. that long. Yeah. Dude, imagine seeing this. Ah, oh, man. We never learn. Always <laughs> poking around. <laughs> Let shit stay buried. I think that's what we need to learn Just from Just frozen in ice for a reason. <laughs> Make sure that everyone stays off the radio. We don't want any information out. Hmm. Hmm. Peter? Nice to meet you. So, you've got it all taken care of. I don't think you really need me. <laughs> <laughs> and what about him? Is he completely disinterested? Or? Oh, that's Lars. Oh, don't trust that don't dog. Don't trust the dog? <laughs> Crash into a glacier. Uh -huh. And then without enough information, you leave the cozy confines of your ship? Well, maybe it was hurt and uh, went to find some place warm. Mm. Well, I guess it didn't find it. And no, man, it sounds like it was escaping something and it was <laughs> desperate. I'm just saying. You land in a foreign planet, the last thing I would do is exit until I absolutely have to. Seeing how that thing worked in the... <laughs> 
in that previous <laughs> movie, I think it's fair to say they, they made an emergency landing on our planet. It wasn't really planned because that's so interesting. We just assume it would be like the aliens themselves are the thing. But I think the thing attacked whoever was piloting that ship. I'll never look at them the same again. I was just going to say, like your entire life, everything that you know has changed now, officially. Imagine getting that confirmation that we are not indeed alone. This vast space. <laughs> there it is, our block of ice. To cut it down to a point of weight, we'll have to take it from here to here. Mm -hmm. Gotta say, they are, they are a very efficient team. They're moving quickly with this thing. I like how they're working together. Before we do, I'm going to take a tissue sample. I mean, the conditions are so unpredictable and we don't have the proper equipment. Sterilization is an issue. Edward, what do you have in the right. way of a small... Just completely ignored her warning. Excellent. Let's not take the advice of the person we brought here and handpicked. The expert, yeah. What, what does she know? Yeah, huh? I know. <laughs> don't contradict me in front of those people again. I just thought it. You're not here to think. You're here to get a thing safely out of the ice. Okay. Excuse me? Super nice. <laughs> yeah, just brought you here for one like, job and one job only. It's giving me some, uh, some Ripley vibes with, you know, yeah. the whole she's warning them and they're just completely not <laughs> The listening. voice of reason. Like, I understand. I would want a tissue sample as well, but we need to kind of figure out what we're dealing with first, no? I love the sound design, how that just elevates the tension. We're all just waiting. Ooh. <gasps> you just drilled right through it, man. Oh, they did need a tissue sample. Well, I guess they got it now. <laughs> now grill it and make a do a do a taste test. <laughs> a little calamari. Does little it taste like lemon chicken or or more seafoody? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this seems like a fun bunch. They do. From this point on. Well, as we know, it has forever. Oh, is it melting? Don't tell me it's melting. You, my is friend. Is it still alive and now you pissed it off because you drilled into it? Because <laughs> you heard it? Who made this discovery? <laughs> Skull! There you go. Come on, <laughs> they know how to have fun. <laughs> I would totally party with these guys. <laughs> I love when we get to see the facilities this way. Get an idea of the layout. It's also very nicely reminiscent of the original, right? Very much so. <laughs> you won't get my sympathy this time. No, not this time. Sorry. <laughs> They you. flamed us for yes. liking a dog in a film last time around. They're like, oh, so stupid. They trusted the dog. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Dude, he's very cute and has never a seen a dog snoot. Like, come on. Never seen a dog like that. I don't know about you guys, but. Like, that's not going to be my first instinct when I see a cute pup, you know? <laughs> Why would you be in the room alone with it? Honestly, I think I would be this guy. I would also be curious. Wait, what? What's that sound? You heard that too, right? Boom! Jesus! Oh, shit. Fuck you, man. Oh my... <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> yeah. That got us. Yeah, that got me. I got got. <sighs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Double jump scare. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, that thing was fucking huge! Oh, boys. Boys. Drop the beers, we gotta go. Dude, the way it launched itself out of the ice was terrifying. That thing is strong to break through ice like that. Whoa. Yeah, yeah this is the time to start shitting your pants. 
the searching groups of two and three. If you find it, pull out. Don't attempt anything on your own. Don't know what condition it's in. Pissed off because you drilled into it, most likely. So we're just gonna go out there and hunt aliens. Over here. I have to say, they're doing an excellent job so far with the tension. Yeah. They are really into those anamorphic lenses, man. Well, we had that era, right? Where mm. everything was anamorphic. Black Noir. Okay. Yeah. I do have to say I love how they use the light or the absence of it, and all sometimes all you can see is just the shadows or indirect light bouncing off of another surface. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, it got to him. Oh no. Oh, he's dead. See, this dog was innocent. I'm sorry, doggo. Yeah. No, well, I feel we bad. We suspected the wrong one. Well, <laughs> The entire setting is so good, man. Yes. So dark and cold and just isolated. <laughs> so many shadows. In the hell with We might have to the other. Oh, oh no, why would that oh. oh my god! Oh. Holy shit! Oh, I harpooned <gasps> him back. Help him! Oh my god, he's in shock! It just ate him in one go. It was so weird and slimy. The hell? Is it? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh. So the question is, is that supposed to be its original form? Okay, so these guys have guns. Nice. Ooh, <laughs> nice. No, it's leaving again. Keep an eye on it. Whoa. Dude, that's like big claws. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Okay. Burn it. Nicely done. Okay. Well, they solved that pretty quickly. Competent so the question group. is, can this thing transform itself like the original movie or is this a completely different thing? How quickly did that tone change? Henrik, huh? you're too small children. It's a horrible tragedy. We're all shocked at what happened to Henrik. There's a buck coming, isn't there? This may be the first and only time mankind has been visited by an alien life form. We're obliged to study it. I think you should destroy it. That's a pretty good idea. Yep. If I do it, I'll it. You must spot in. I understand as a scientist, I would be curious too to analyze the remains. 100%. And like he said, this is actual an actual alien here. Confirmed. So I get it. But I feel like he's too reckless. And trying to keep the outside out of it, I think is not the right call. They just got that thing out there like that. Not even quarantining it or, or you yeah. know. Putting Dude. it in a safe room or something? Dude, what if it's poisonous? Like, that's what she was saying. Like, sterilization could be an issue. Let's do a little autopsy here. Oh. <laughs> Kate, can you help here? She's like, oh, now you need me. Yes. Okay. Now me. <laughs> Pull the side open. Wow. That looks great, by the way. Why is it sizzling? <laughs> Some type of amniotic sac. Amniotic sac. This is so fascinating. Ooh. What the hell? being digested already. Yeah, that was quick, dude. It was maybe, a, what, a couple of minutes at most? And the tissue looks almost new. What was it doing to him? And it appears it was absorbing him. Hmm. Mm hmm Hey, Samara, are you okay? I'm fine. You need something? No, no, I'm okay. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> yes! <laughs> My horror movie tingles are tingling. Okay, so at least we do have some practical elements here. That looks great. 
What's that? Looks like a titanium plate. It's used to reinforce broken bones, compound fractures. Yeah, that's right. He had one Henry of those. broke his arm last year. He had to go to Argentina to get it set. Ouch. Interesting. So if this was in his arm, what's it doing out of him now? Oh, we're getting some clues as to how it works. That's cool. I mean, I'm all for the lore. I'm loving the whole autopsy thing. We get to actually see inside and what it looks like. I want to find out what this thing was doing to him. What was it doing to him? These cells aren't dead. It looks like the alien cells are somehow attacking Henrik cells and then that. Ah, okay. What is that? It's like they're transforming into they're some- imitating his cells. So it is confirmed. It does have the same abilities. Assimilating him. Okay, I don't know if that's what I'm seeing, but I'm- They're imitating him. You guys are screwed. Oh shit. <laughs> yep. Nah, man. Sorry. Oh. Put him in a put him in a room and burn it. <laughs> burn all of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. It was nice meeting you. I would not let him go. If the weather holds up, we'll be back with help as soon as we can. Okay. And if it doesn't, they're stuck here. Also, I did not know that Joel Edgerton is in this, which is really cool. Yeah. Keep it more. I will. Come on, let's go. The paranoia is starting again. <laughs> I don't know who to trust. There you go. They have done a great job at setting the atmosphere. I mean, feeling this sense of isolation, the paranoia starting to kick in. Mm -hmm. Very reminiscent of what I remember from the original. What now? Are those teeth? No way. Oh, they're fillings, right? They're fillings! Oh no. Wait, but who does it belong to? This is really bad. Oh, no. The question is, would you know you're being hijacked by this thing? That's always been something that I've been curious right. about. Are you still you until you're not you anymore? Or is it like a symbiosis? It's a dormant until it chooses not to. Oh shit, that's a lot of blood, man. <laughs> one of them. It's one of them. It's 100% one of them. It's trying to leave. Yep. Stop the copter! <laughs> Flag us down. Come on, man. Think. Yeah, we're gonna have a big problem on our hands. Just get out of here, man. No, dude. I get them too. They're trying to get the hell out of this place. Come All on, right, fuck man. We're landing. Good job. Okay. Is there something wrong? No, no, I've, everything's fine. I have a feeling they're trying to make it too obvious. I don't know if I should trust that it's that sick guy. The him who... in particular? <laughs> we'll, we'll be in the air in no time. Don't worry. Hang in there. I mean, it could also just be a, a response to trauma, right? Oh! Oh, oh I knew oh it! My Holy God. shit! <laughs> Wait, no! Yeah, they were making it too obvious. Oh, oh my God! Oh my god! <laughs> no! Oh no! What? Yo! <laughs> Shit. It's trying to hijack that copter. Dude, that's terrifying. It like split him apart and just... It's like tentacles or something. I don't even know what to call it. What a great diversion. <laughs> That was great, though. I was so suspicious of the other guy. No, they, they went too hard on True. making it, you know, pointing him out. It's impossible to reach them. Oh, mm. this can't be a coincidence. Radio's dead. He's fucking dead. Of course it is. They're running out of time. Yeah, as soon as the thing heard that they're going back to land, that's when it... It's like, nope, I'm not like, going no. back there. <laughs> you guys poked me with a thing. <laughs> you poked me with a sharp object. Wait, who cleaned that up? Dude, is this guy for real? People are dying, man. No one can leave this camp. Why did you flag down that helicopter? Because I thought it was in danger. Tell them what you know. I saw that the alien cells were still alive, and they were copying Henrik's cells. Adam saw it too. Could be any of us. I mean, I don't, I don't know what we saw. I don't, I don't understand. What are you saying? But this thing can, and probably has, replicated a person. 
<laughs> like, that can't possibly be true. I mean, it sounds outlandish. I get it. This is not the time to be yelling fire. Let's stop. Discuss this in private. We don't need any private meetings, Doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can clone cells, but not inorganic material. It couldn't right. copy these, so it spit them out. It can only copy organic materials. When I went back to check it, someone had cleaned up the blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so whatever it is, it is still here. <laughs> it's smart. It knows to cover Man. its tracks. I've heard enough. Of course you oh, have. Get your gear. Ten minutes. Suspect number one. You can't leave. You You don't know what we're dealing with. Is she the only one? Yeah. With some reason here? I saw Colin coming from the showers. He was holding something. Kate, I can't say for sure. Oh. Oh, God. Yikes. I love that everyone is just so suspicious right now. We can't let any of them go. I know where they keep the keys for the vehicles. Yeah. Good. I have to say, they really did a great job at recreating that initial feeling. The tension, the paranoia, yes. and also that growing feeling of terror, right? At the mounting danger. Who can you trust? You said there were five? I knew no. it! <laughs> it was luring her away! Oh my god! Oh. 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 oh my god! <laughs> Kate, you have to go. <laughs> oh my god! Shit! Oh. Oh. Go, 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 go! Run! Run, man! Oh my god! Oh. Too slow! Oh no! <laughs> Yep, Kate, just what happened? close the door, just lock it in. It's too late for him. <laughs> I was trying to warn you guys about this. Y'all looked at oh. her like she was crazy. Nice. Hey. <laughs> nice. Flamethrower. Nice little callback. Oh, that looks horrible. It's just a mask. Dude, that is... Let's go! <laughs> Good. Ugh. The fact that it's still screaming in her voice. Yes. And a blend of the thing as well. Oh no. What? Burn it again. Do it. Yep. Ah. Yeah, don't let up now. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Gnarly. See, I do have to say in that sequence, we could have used a little bit of practical effects. I didn't miss that a little bit here. So yeah. I will I will say that. But we did trade that off for mobility. This thing is moving a lot more yes, than in the original. Feels way faster and stronger too. Goes to show you win some, you lose some, right? Yeah. It attacks its prey, copies it perfectly, and then hides inside it. Is it still among us? Most likely. Yeah. It's like a virus. So what do we do with any virus? Quarantine. Contain it. Exposing our uncontaminated blood to the cells of the creature might create a reaction. The blood test! <laughs> so we take blood samples from everybody. Oh, wow. I like that they're taking elements from the original, but they're also going in their own direction in a weird way. Yeah, it's not a full-on remake. It's more of a retelling. I'm really liking it so far, though, dude. Gonna go ahead and assume that it, this probably got a lot of flack just because of the use of CGI versus actually judging the film for what it is. Yeah. What? Mm. I don't know, man. That's a little sus. Well, don't follow him. <laughs> Granata. Oh. Oh. Aw. You trusted her with that. Was that something? Something caught his attention. Who is that? It's too dark. Oh. <laughs> from the helicopter? Oh, you, from the crash? Yeah, holy shit. We should burn them right here, right now. Well, we don't know 100%. All right, we can just lock them up until Sanders' yeah. test is ready. Yeah, blood test, guys. Please. Please. <sighs> it's an impossible choice, man. I don't know. That's why it's so difficult. You can't just go ahead and attack everybody, yeah. right? You do have to know 100% whether or not it is the thing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, I will be watching over my shoulder too. But you don't know if he's watching him because he's worried about him or he's worried about getting caught himself. Well, that's both perspectives, right? If he is also not the thing, he's probably like, what the fuck? Why are you looking at me that way, man? Like, a bunch of scientists, they can't handle what we saw in that chopper. It is pretty hard to believe we both walked away from that crash. Yeah, it is. We're preparing a test and then we figure out who's who. Yeah, what's it to you? Just wait a little bit. We'll clear yeah. this out. I feel like getting more irritated about it is more suspicious. What? Whoa. It's a distraction. Oh, wow. No, they're burning the lab? Oh, Oh, damn. that's bad. Wow. No, there's no test. How could this happen? Well, it was no accident. Right. You. Oh. How are you accusing me? Why not? He's got something to hide. What are you, an asshole? <laughs> on the test, I left for two minutes! Yes. You just don't want us to know the truth! Yes. Oh, yeah. Calm down, you calm down, calm down, calm down. Fucking call Oh, man. Nightmare! There might be another way. I think okay. there might be another way to tell. Okay, let's hear it. I'm liking the rising tension between the characters as well. Getting more and more irritated and pissed off. Peter, give me a flashlight. Also, I just remembered the thing can only be as smart as the form that it takes. So if it took the form of that scientist or any uh, of these... Oh, it's over for these bitches. Oh, oh feeling smart. What if you have a lot of luck and you're very hygienic? You have great teeth. See? That's assuming that everybody here has fillings to begin right. with. Well, at least they can rule out yeah. some of them. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Smart, man. Who's next? Come here. He's like, my dad is a scientist. Sorry, a, a dentist. <laughs> okay, he's good too. He's all right. I love how the movie's toying up with us, man. Everybody seems so nervous. So I'm going to get yeah. killed because I floss. Nobody's getting killed. <laughs> Weasel. Just do it. Yeah, if you don't have any feelings, just say so. It's okay. Ah oh, man, that's two strikes against you. Well, you go on the suspect <sighs> line. You know as well as I do, there are too many variables. Open your goddamn mouth. Kate, you're here to do your job and your job Open only. Open your mouth! <laughs> They're porcelain. Smart. Mm-hmm. I like him. It's bloody absurd. <laughs> I like how feisty she is. Mm-hmm. Take control, man. I was gonna say she feels like a almost a, like a spiritual successor of Kurt Russell's character. Yeah. Yeah, he's not even like if you know, why are you making us check, man? Just say you don't have him. I mean, this guy hadn't thought gone, Yeah, come in. It come in though. Wait, so question, would it be able to mimic tattoos as well or no? Is that considered immaterial? I mean, it's it's a kind of ink, right? So I'm going to go ahead and assume that it, it can't reproduce ink. Not even smart control. Yeah, because y'all bitches fucked up. <laughs> Jeez. It's just <laughs> like, common sense, guys. It's not about being in charge. It's about figuring this out. My God. People can be so stupid. No movie now. Hi. Lars is doing the right thing, but damn, man. Gotta stick together. At least. Oh. Oh. No, I liked him. Wait, so it's none of these guys. You can't trust them. Yeah, Shit. it was one of them. What the hell, man? Peter, keep them back. Stay on them, Peter. Peter can you you them? What happened? Oh, I love this. This is amazing. Oh, God. They're inside. Fuck. Oh, all right, man. The way they ramped up the tension between all of them is so good. Great rhythm, yeah. too, the back and forth. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said calm down! Where the fuck is Lars? Put it down! Shit. Get the Lars! It's gonna end very badly. Blend them! Blend them! Ah! Oh! oh! oh he 
just shot him. He wasn't taking any chances. No. Okay. I just want to check my friend, okay? Y your friend is dead, for sure. He was gonna fire. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Yeah, this is all just spiraling out of control, man. Yeah, just when you think it can't get worse, it <laughs> gets so much worse. It gets, w it gets way worse. Oh, man, I feel bad, man. I like this guy. You. Yeah, you. Help him. I get it because from the Americans' perspective, it's like, these guys just locked us up. We had yeah. to freaking walk through hell to get here. Like, if they know that they're not the thing, I'd be pissed off, too. It'll be so messed up if it's her. <laughs> We're all Yo. here. She's the only one I have not suspected thus far. That'll be ballsy. That'll be very ballsy. I would like that. Just put him over there on the couch. Oh! oh what the it. hell? Oh, my God! Oh. Oh. Get it off! Get it off! Uh, burn it! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Kick it, Somebody do something! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh my god! Uh, oh. <laughs> no, not the case of death! No! Why you gotta why is it always gotta go in the mouth, dude? Oh, oh shit. That always freaks me out how they how they travel and convulse. <sighs> oh, uh. Oof! Damn! Jesus! Oh, no, no. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. oh! Just ripped his stomach! Oh. Watch out! Oh, That's oh, whoa. horrible. Oh. Ah, no. There goes another one. Damn, it's taking everybody out. It wasn't him. Now they get to see who was who, yeah. huh? That sucks, man. Oh. Oh my God. What the hell? Since when can it split like that? Dude. Oh my. Dude, move. Why are you just Ooh. staring at it? Burn it. Come yeah. on, come on, yep. come on. What is happening? It's trying to absorb him, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> oh. oh my God. Oh! oh. <laughs> no! It's like an animal dragging its food to its lair. Yes! Oh, oh I liked him too. I liked him. Should have stayed in Game of Thrones, man. Uh, oh, he's, he's still, still there. In mercy, there. kill him. Just mercy, kill Just him. Just take him out. That's so disturbing, man. Oh, anybody. <laughs> so much loss in a few minutes. <laughs> Gotta do the right thing. It's a horror house, man. <laughs> Blood splatter everywhere. <laughs> Dark long hallways, flickering lights. Yep. Great work with the set design. It's lurking in the shadows. So it's safe to assume that that guy was also not infected. So gnarly how it can just divide itself, you know, an arm here, another arm there. Yeah. Uh, yep. uh, just yeah. like that. Uh. <laughs> Oh my god, that's horrible! Great! Burn it, burn it, burn it! Oh. Come on! Take that thing out! Oh my god! It's too quiet. It's way too quiet. We just had to open our mouths. <laughs> oh shit! But what the? <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, what? Two heads. <laughs> Damn. You need to get a weapon, man. Good job. It's looking for you. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that's great, though. Great framing. Very nicely done. It's like an animal sniffing, right? Come on, man. Think. Quiet. Uh. That is so disturbing. Shit, is he cornered? He's I don't cornered, think he has an he? exit, yeah. Dude, that's such a great design. It's disgusting. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'd seen you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, thank you. Right in time. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. Yep. Go after it, go after it. Extra crispy, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Stay down. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I would also make triple sure that thing oh, is yeah. dead. I think that might be a reference to the original because I'm pretty sure we saw like a corp, a burnt corpse similar to that. Oh. And the original. It'll freeze out there. If it doesn't, millions of people could die. It's the same. Because the thing is, there's no way to contain the infection. It can. Did I misunderstand? There, it's multiple things. It can spread quickly. I mean, we yeah. already seen it divide itself too. So, like, it's not just the one that we're stuck with here. So, like, no, it'd be catastrophic. Yeah, it starts to yeah. set in. <laughs> I'm alone with this guy. Ah. What? It can't be him. Oh, his earring, right? His earring. Yeah. What happened to Lars? Good question. I don't know if I trust her fully, man. Did we check her mouth? We didn't, right? She was she, the one doing all the check-ins. No, because she showed her mouth oh. to um one of the characters, remember? I, I, I don't know if I should trust her still. <laughs> We're back here? I'm assuming I came back here to seek refuge or some shit. Whoa! What? Oh. oh no no no! It's still operational! Off button right now! Dude I love that we get to see the actual spaceship! Freaking UFO! Oh shit! Oh man! Damn it damn it damn it damn it! Go 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 go! Ugh! What oh, is that? Shit. What the hell? Kate! Did they just kill our final girl? Oh my god, that's amazing. Well, if we didn't see the body. True. If you, not... if you didn't see it, it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, okay. She's alive. Never well, mind. <laughs> alive. I don't know how okay she is after <laughs> that fall, but her heart is still beating. These work? Okay. Whoa. Dude, I love seeing spaceships in movies. <laughs> Me too. It's always so intriguing. How does it work? It's powering up to what? Leave? Probably, yeah. He's trying to get the hell out of there. I mean, go back home, I guess. I mean, if it leaves the planet, that would be the best case scenario. Right. But if it lands somewhere else that's more populated, then oh. we're screwed. Kate! Yeah, that does not sound like hate. What is that? What is that? Yeah. That's so interesting. Looks like Tetris. <laughs> yes. Wow, I'm loving this spaceship design. Yeah, must be insane. Alien tech. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Oh my god. Ugly. <laughs> Need a flamethrower or something, please. <laughs> oh, that looks horrible. I love that it has his full face on there. It's like it wasn't enough of an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you see like the teeth on the sides, it's like. It's not trying to hide anymore. <laughs> It's personal now. <laughs> ah! Oh no. 
We need a flamethrower. It's way too freaking close, man. Come on. You gotta. Just gave up. What's that sound? It's a weird rhythmic. Sounds like a heartbeat. Yeah, thumping. Come on, Kate, you gotta move. Yeah, is it trying to lure you out? What is it doing? Where is it? Oh, oh shit! Great tension building, man. Holy crap. Ah! Come on, come on, come on! Oh no. Did you grab it? I don't know. She She's grabbed got it. it! Right in the mouth, come on, right in there! Right in! Right in there! Nice! Ooh. Yum yums! Num nums, enjoy! Run, run, run! Ooh. Nice! Surely that killed it in one blow! <laughs> that thing is staying there! Man! So is there more? Are we good? Do we trust this guy? <laughs> yeah, so what do you do with all this information, man? So what do we do now? There's a Russian station about 50 miles from here. Should have enough gas. Are they gonna do the whiskey thing? The nod? Oh! With the drink? Okay. No, they seem to trust each other. Well, she is breathing out cold air, so is he. Because <laughs> I know that was one of the theories. Please be okay, both of you. Nope. His earring's gone. Oh. I'll put this in the back. Yeah. There's not even a hole, so it's not even mm -hmm. like it fell or anything. It's not there. It's a thing. You know how I knew you were human? No. Your earring. Yeah. No. It was your other ear. Yeah. It didn't even know. It's not no. it's not real. Burn it! Don't wait! Fuck, yeah. dude. Okay. Okay. Kate! Kate! <sighs> Don't yeah! not wait. Yep. Yeah. Good call. Fuck, man. Must have got to him off screen. Yeah. Well, that other thing was roaming around about before it found her, so. That's so messed up, man. Fuck. Soul survivor. I'm telling you, if I was the writer of this, I would definitely put in the last minute nod where it's like, no, she was the thing all along. Oh my she god. She was the one infecting all of them. <laughs> Ultimate survival. Yeah, how do you live with all that? Wow. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Who goes there? There's more? Uh, help arriving, I guess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the nice. theme. Is this not? I might have a theory. Hello, hello, somebody, man. Hello. It's complete destruction inside. Frozen with the throat. Hello. So is that? Did we not see a body like this in the original? Oh. Wait, Way. they were not nods after all? Hello? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lost. Oh. oh, he's alive! Lost for pawn, the map for pawn! Oh, that's it. Huh? Uh, probably doesn't even know what the hell is going on. No. Oh, Dude, what? Oh, of course! Oh my god! 
that guy in the original was Lars? Stop the Yam helicopter no! Whoa! <laughs> All right, Yo. full circle. We it's not a fucking remake. It's not a remake. It's a fucking prequel. Yeah, dude, what? And the grenades and everything. So yeah. that's why everything looked the same. It wasn't the set designers trying to be like, oh, look, we're cool. Yeah. Kill that damn dog. Kill the dog, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, we feel the complete opposite. No, our reaction is coming full circle. We started the first one. Missed your shots, man. I know it's a moving target, but still, dude, <laughs> holy shit! It was right in our face the entire time. I just saw that was just a bunch of like references to the original. Because the thing is, yeah, it was so close to the original, and there's some of the things happen very closely to what the original did. I was like, oh yeah, it makes sense. At first, I thought it was a remake, more for you know modern audiences. Then I was like, oh, yeah. it's more of a retelling because there's a lot of beats that are not quite the same. Mm -hmm. But now this pretty much explains it. It's not the exact same I'm film, but it does take place in the same place in time. I'm trying to remember. I I might be wrong. In the original thing, when they're exploring the Norwegian camp, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that we saw like the ice outline from where the thing first came out of. Oh, man. It's been a few months, Damn, so I, I yeah. can't remember all of it, but I'm sure I a lot of the things... I'm pretty sure I remember like the two faces melted together yeah. in the burned corpse. I'm yeah. pretty sure I remember that. You thought it was a nod at first. Now that, yes. that complete... I mean, that explains it. God. Yeah, I guess wow. anything that they did do in that base, I'm sure there's a lot more references that we're missing right now, but I'm yeah. sure if you watch the next one, I mean the original one, <laughs> right after you could be like, oh shit, there's a lot of things that were left there by the previous crew, and now we got to see how that happened, so wow. wow. What a cool way to tie it in, man. Honestly, that little surprise, man, I wonder if people just knew going into this that it was a cause, prequel? Yeah, because that's not, it, it's not, it's just called The Thing, yeah. 2011. Uh, once it said like it was set in the, in the 80s, I was like, okay, well, it's set in the same time, but yeah, again, I, I thought it was just a retelling because it was set in the same time or a remake per se. Exactly. Really, really cool stuff, man. I really enjoyed the tension here. It, first of all, it's it's not nearly as bad as people make it out to be. Let's no. let's get that out immediately. Yeah. I think people got to stop. You know, I think the hate train is it's it's got some momentum here, and it, it, it's got to stop. And now even and now knowing that it's sort of a prequel again, it doesn't really hurt the original. The original is always going to yeah. stand on its two feet. It's a really well done film, and I understand that having remake makes prequels or whatever coming in the modern time does not take away from the original. And I feel like the initial knee jerk reaction for a lot of people is to just hate on something because it's something that's coming out and it's new. Okay. First of all, I think this did a lot of things right. And I also think it did a lot of things wrong. So let's go beat by beat. <laughs> I think the tension was good. I thought the horror element was executed well enough for mm -hmm. it to be like, oh shit, it, it's a fun ride. It has that same, you know, energy that the original had where you're trying to figure out who the thing is. You, that paranoia sits in, that tension is there. The music is very similar to the original, if not exactly the same theme. And I right. love the, the theme. So those elements are there. Obviously, I missed a lot of the practical effects. I missed that that organic feel of, you know, when the thing is transforming, I did quite enjoy seeing those practical effects. And it would have been an amazing opportunity to show the world just how far we've gotten from, you know, the 80s to yeah. how the practical teams do it now. That could have been such a big flex to be like, dude, yeah. the genius that did the originals and, and those practical effects would be so proud of what we can do now. Look at what we can do now. So in all fairness, one thing that I did know about this going into it is that it was not the filmmaker's fault. So I don't know if you guys know this. So if you're going to hate on somebody, I think the blame should be placed uh, on, on the people that are actually responsible. You know, as people that want to put out films out there someday for you guys to enjoy, we have to be honest and we have to be fair. Okay. Yeah. I understand judging the product because that's what you got, right? You got the final product, but sometimes digging a little bit deeper into what happened can help you make a better assessment, a better judgment. So it wasn't the director's fault. It wasn't the filmmaker's fault. You know, the teams actually had a team of people doing the practical work for this film. And then, uh, you know, the great studio, said, uh, no, let's substitute all of the practical effects with CGI because CGI will look better and the audiences will enjoy that better. So they were forced into changing all of the practical back into CGI, even though there is a cut out there right now where we have a lot of those practical elements that will probably never see the light of day. Taking that into consideration, because we have to, I think that they they were on the right track. I mean, they, they did the effort to do it mm -hmm. practically. It was not their fault. It was the studios. If that's what you dislike from that film, just know that it was not the filmmaker's fault here. Blame it on the studios. They're the ones that were dumb enough 
to yeah. make that stupid decision that nobody in their right mind would have would have done under any other circumstance, really. I don't know who the fuck thought that was a good idea, because it's not. Strictly on what we did get to see, I did miss the practical effects. I'm not going to lie. I think in some elements there, it could have been utilized a bit better. Mm -hmm. I did think that the CGI did provide us with some opportunities that are not present when you do it practically. Like I mentioned watching this, it, the thing moved more. It was yes. very mobile. Yeah, you could actually see its moves and its hunting style almost and it being significantly more aggressive, which I think I think that's where it kind of does come down to preference. I personally felt that this thing felt significantly more dangerous because mm. it was more mobile. It felt more uh, aggressive and erratic. Yeah, I felt like the thing in which actually makes sense when you think of it storytelling wise, the thing that we see in this one in the prequel is significantly more aggressive because it literally just woke up. It just <laughs> got here. So it already dealt with the first crew. By the time it deals with the second crew, of course, it's going to be a little bit smarter. It's going to be uh, it has more experience now trying to blend in. It's going to keep things much more significantly on the down low. So it makes sense that it's different and that it's more aggressive in this one. There is there's an arc to the thing is uh, to the character of the thing as well, which I can definitely appreciate. I do feel like the perfect combination would have been some assistance from CGI, but just mainly do practical effects. And it is it is so sad that everyone that was involved in this project, they were really trying to do the same thing that its predecessor did and do all of the effects pra as practical as they can and get it as far as they can. And like you said, it would have been amazing to see like where we're at right now, right? It is a shame when creativity gets trumped that way. I definitely don't think that this movie deserves all the hate that it got. I really enjoyed the the tension and the conflict and how the paranoia just started really ramping up between this crew, but it did not feel like a regurgitation of the first one. It was very different the way those guys handled it versus this crew, right? Um, This crew, you could tell, like, a lot of them were much more friends with each other. Mm. There was more of a camaraderie compared to um the group in the original. And I think that added a really interesting dynamic to this. I really liked all of the characters. I love the acting. I love the language barrier between them, you know, and eventually they started like splitting up, right? The Norwegians versus the Americans. Yeah, very And that interesting. added even, they add, added even more of that frustration and the tension, right? And the Norwegians are like, we found this. We just brought you in to help. Like, don't get it twisted. And I, again, I, I can understand because what you're not trying to do is have your discovery be stolen by someone else who wasn't really there for it. You just got them for help. We got to see how it all started. And I guess, yeah, it's really cool when you start to think about it even deeper. Uh, I was wondering, I'm like, well, this doesn't seem because it took a while for the thing to transform or to absorb the first time. So I was like, wait, is this the same thing? Because then I was start, I was starting to try. So I was trying to justify why this film could have been hated, right? And, and trying to throw wild guesses out there. And I'm like, well, what if it doesn't transform and it's just like this massive alien that I can <laughs> see people hating this film? So I wonder if it was um because it was frozen, its metabolism was also slowed down. Yeah. So it just couldn't do it at the speed or, or the rate that it normally does. Or if absorbing a new creature for the first time just requires more energy. Mm. It's like a printer, right? Like he needs to scan it first and like yeah. absorb it. And then once it does like, oh, now I know how to do this quicker. Like it takes practice. Right. I mean, we don't know that this thing, cause like it's an alien, obviously, right? Yeah. It, it's never been on our planet before. And obviously like, you know, it's, it's different gravity and oxygen and all these things. So maybe it didn't even know that it could do that until it came Ooh, here. I have, I have my theory. I think the thing has always been able to do this. I think it, it always <laughs> absorbs. And I'm pretty sure that the spaceship does not belong to the thing. Mm. I have, I have a very strong theory. I think the thing hijacked this spaceship. Let's let's put it this way. If this if this alien species, not the thing, uh, whoever built that spaceship, right, uh, was a civilization capable of intergalactic travel. This is like the perfect vehicle for the thing. We can spread anywhere we want. We can spread to any planet that has life in it. So I think whatever happened, that would that would be a great film. I think whatever happened is that they were going somewhere. The thing hijacked every single one of them, and probably killed them, and they had to emergency crash land into planet Earth, releasing this biological weapon, essentially. I think for what it was, I thought the pacing was great. Listen, this yeah. this movie flew by. It was fun, man. It was fun. It was really, really yeah. fun. And I cannot stress just how much joy I found in this. And honestly, the characters were fine. The way that they reacted was absolutely normal. And that's something that I loved about the first one, too, is like the common sense doesn't go out the window, you know, just to make a situation happen. They're all doubting each other. They're all trying to figure things out. And, you know, common sense leads them through the same rabbit holes that the 
original crew that we saw go through. It was like, well, we need to do this by process of elimination. We have to have a test of sorts, you know? A lot of those elements are here. So if we enjoyed them that then why are we hating on them now? I mean, I'm telling you, the only thing that changes things is the CGI versus practical. I mean, we're going into this wanting to watch the thing. So if they deviated super hard and made a super hard ride, people would have hated it anyway. So the fact that they were able to merge both elements and give us some of those original, listen, it yeah. might not be for everybody, then just stick to watching the original, man. But don't yeah. don't watch something that you're not ready for. That's what I say. I mean, if you're not ready to watch something new and you're going to criticize it for doing something different, then why are you watching the new one? Yeah. You know, if and if you want to copy and paste, then why are you watching a new one? Exactly. Like, then just watch the original yeah. because it's nobody's going to do it better than the original. For me, there's a lot of value in remakes because and I know a lot of people might find this controversial. I don't find it controversial at no, all. No, not at all. I find a lot of value in remakes because they allow a new audience to find something that they they might have never heard of before or never given it the chance to begin with. You're bringing a whole new generation to watch something that they wouldn't have watched in the first place. Yeah. What is it to you, man? Let people explore things. Stop gatekeeping. Let people find things on their own time. The best example that I can give you guys right now, the, the best recent example, right? We heard that they were remaking The Crow. Now, we know that movie's already getting a lot of flack. We won't get into the nitty gritty of things, but we heard that they were making The Crow and we were like, you know what? We've never seen the original Crow and we've heard a lot of good things. And guess what? Because of the fact that they're making a new one, that light bulb went on and we were like, you know what? Let's watch the original. And we absolutely love that movie. So already, like I'm talking from experience, some of these films can give the opportunity for audience, audience members like me who just grew up not really watching watching older films. So mm -hmm. allow it, allow it. And then just yeah. judge it when it comes out and, and judge it fairly. Cause I, I have a feeling that a lot of things that came out in eighties and nineties, they're great. And if you've seen a lot of our reactions, I love those movies, even mm -hmm. though I grew up not watching a lot of the older films, I actually appreciate them quite a lot. But when you compare them to a lot of the stuff that comes out now or things that are remakes or reboots that do it so closely, I'm wondering, well, why is this one loved when this one is? Yeah essentially the same thing but with newer effects but people are shitting on it no and i feel like it, there's a there's an interesting trend that's just been happening over and over where there's either a certain movie or uh, a certain celebrity an actor or you know musician whatever you may think that you know they get a lot of shit for something you know think for example hayden christensen in the time of mm. you know the uh prequel star wars trilogy um you know was getting a whole lot of shit he was getting people were just roasting him and i remember people just called him like wooden and his acting was terrible and all these things you could think what you want about those movies but then recently you know there with all the shows that have been coming out when in relation to the star wars universe a lot of people have started loving him again and it's like well, you hated him 20 years ago. So, and it's exactly something that we've seen with the thing where critics panned the hell out of the original thing. And now everyone all of a sudden just changes their mind. Are you not allowed to change your mind? Of course, absolutely you are. But then why are you going so hardcore on the first opinion that you have when you don't even leave any room to say, I might change my mind at some point. It is totally okay to change your mind. You're completely allowed to. But what I think is kind of ridiculous is this really intense hatred for anything that decides to do something different with an IP. You don't own it. Yeah. It's not, we don't have a claim to it. You, do you have to like it? No, absolutely not. But there is this weird entitlement to projects that are very beloved. I always wonder where that is coming from. It, it's, it, I understand that, you know, there's the nostalgia, you know, whether it's your childhood or your teen years, like that's amazing. Like, you know, we love Harry Potter. So, you know, when there's a Harry Potter remake, there might be a little knee jerk reaction. Be like, really? Like it just came out like 20 years ago. We're already doing a remake, but guess what? They might do it better this time. We won't know. You don't know until you watch it and you give it a fair chance because when you do an exact side by side comparison, Harrison, you're being unfair to both products, the yeah. original and the remake. You just need to look at it as, okay, let's see what they do differently. You don't have to like it, but let's let's be fair here and let's stop gatekeeping. Like we don't, we are not entitled to anything here. I feel like it's the same mentality where it's like the grandpas, you know, being like back in my day, yeah. you know, and if we do the same to the next generation <laughs> doing things, then, you know, it's just a, a, a toxic cycle, man. Just don't it do is. it. You know, enjoy what you enjoy, love what you love. I understand like people should criticize things and they should vocalize it, but or be fair with it and stop bullshitting. Cause I feel like there's a lot of that where it's like, we're, we're going to hide all the bad things that came out in my time just because we have like 15 20 good movies so we're not gonna right. talk about the other thousands that were shit we're just gonna talk about the good ones i mean we could do the same thing yeah you know, exactly for, for the next generations we could be like oh my god interstellar oh my god you lord know, of the rings lord of the rings Inter yeah exactly like yeah. i'm just saying let's be fair this wasn't nearly as bad i can see the criticism though when it comes to the cgi and practical i'll give you mm. that point i think again they they did do it right so i can't really blame the filmmakers blame the studio yeah. never do that again please i if, really like the creature design the creature, the design creature was designs cool. were fantastic 
fantastic. Yeah. Like they were creepy. They really felt out of this world. They felt very threatening. The whole arm thing too is pretty yeah. cool. How they they found newer ways to uh, you know really toy with us with our psyche there. <laughs> yeah, really make it squeamish. Yeah, it's the body horror element of it. You know, like that was yeah. significantly more prevalent in this. I feel like, and I really enjoyed that element. Yep, I found a lot of enjoyment in this. I know that you did as well. Yeah. You know, I think after this, watching the original and finding all those little nods that they included here could be a cool experience. Definitely so, got to do that. Got to do that soon. <laughs> I'm going to definitely rewatch that original one soon. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you enjoy. And as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.